2005, all the world leaders got together and they had a summit in New York and they passed this document, this declaration of sort of intent. And in that, they endorsed this notion that um, governments have a responsibility to protect their own citizens from mass crimes, genocide, massive crimes against humanity. Um, there's no kind of mechanism for enforcing this. But there is NATO. NATO became the military arm of the international community to deal with the extraordinary atrocities that were seen for the first time uh, since World War II, right here in the middle of Europe. Concentration camps in Bosnia, ethnic cleansing throughout uh, the area, and at a, uh, a time when uh, the international community was unable to resolve these kinds of issues diplomatically, it decided it needed to intervene militarily. Take Bosnia, for example. Bosnia was an easy call for the United States because this was a conflict at the heart of Europe, one of America's core security interests, but also an economic one as well. The kind of physical and geopolitical disruptions that the war in the Balkans was causing and the ripple effects that it was having throughout Europe were politically dangerous, but economically as well. 